Commander Chris Sherbin. Good to have you as part of our program this morning. Good morning. It's great to be talking to you this morning, Heather. Well, thank you for being here. Now, now look out ahead from, I can't see exactly where you're headed, but how close to Trois-Rivières are you, sir? Well, we're actually very close. I've uh, just closed up uh, my uh, personnel to, uh, to do it on side, so the next uh, half an hour I'll be there. Okay. Uh, you were originally intending to go to Montreal, I know, for the 375th anniversary commemorations, but then the decision to divert. Where, how, how did that come about? Uh, it was just discussions with, uh, with the, uh, the Navy with respect to uh, what our task is and where we could be of assistance. Uh, and uh, we'll be uh, coming alongside to help with the uh, flood prevention efforts here in Trois Rivières. Exactly. Operation as Lentis, as we call it, every time there's a natural disaster in Canada's forces uh, respond. So there you are. When you get to Trois-Rivières, which, as you say, is just in a matter of minutes, what will your sailors be doing? Well, whichever we can do to help. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, flood prevention efforts, anywhere from uh, filling sandbags or whichever uh, else that the, uh, the authorities here need our help with. Evacuations we've seen some of your uh, your army colleagues doing and, and various other spots in Quebec so it could be anything going door to door sandbagging evacuations those whole range of duties any of those kind of tasks and uh, like I said uh, we're still working on those generally right now uh, we've been told our, our main task will be providing kind of labor and uh, helping with uh, sandbagging efforts uh, around the city sounds like things are getting worse in La Mauricie uh, how long do you expect to be there that uh, is still uh, to be decided. Uh, it'll depend on uh, how long we can, uh, or what kind of help we can provide uh, the uh, the city, and when the uh, the floods uh, water start to, uh, when we need or when we can uh, to get proceed. Back out. Uh, go to get back out to Montreal. I I'm yeah. wondering, people maybe not familiar with your record, you have a long and distinguished career uh, with the Navy, and I know part of that was a deployment to Hurricane Katrina in the United States to help in the aftermath there. So you've been through disasters like this before. Can you give me a perspective uh, on what it means? What do you see when Canadians see Army, Navy people coming to help? What do you see of what it means to Canadians? Hopefully it means, uh, it, it means that they have a force that's ready to come in to help and to respond when Canadians uh, uh, need it most. Well, they always express tremendous gratitude. You're a big sign of reassurance, I can tell. Oh, we've got two cameras, so I can see you on the deck, and now I can see in our live camera, I can see your ship getting set to arrive. So the people on shore are very anxious to see you. Thank you so much, Commander. I really appreciate the time this morning. Well, thank you, uh, Heather. It's great to talk to you.